with the UFC recently signing the viral fighter Michael Venom Page. We're going to look into the past fights and how I think MVP's career will play out in the UFC. Venom was born on the 7th of April, 1987 in London, England, to parents Curtis Page Sr. and Pauline Reese, who were both Gar Kung Fu practitioners. This is what sparked Venom's interest in combat sports from a relatively early age. Venom made his MMA debut on the 4th of February, 2012, for UC MMA against Ben Dishman. This is when Venom went on to score his first win when he won via a beautiful tornado kick in the very first round. Venom went on to have a few more fights under local MMA promotions before signing with Bellator Fight Promotions in 2013. Venom had a rough start to his time at Bellator with only one of his five scheduled fights happening. This was largely due to injuries, and unfortunately, Venom was plagued with injuries up until about 2019. Although during this time, Venom would get his infamous KO against Cyborg Santos where Venom caught him with a perfect flying knee and actually cracking the skull and retiring Santos. Coupled with injuries, Venom had opponents pull out for a number of reasons. 2019 would be the year that Venom finally got the break he needed and deserved when Bellator signed him up to fight him against Paul Daly, who was a former UFC fighter. Although MVP was awarded the win over Paul, Paul exposed a rather large hole in his game, which was wrestling. In Venom's next fight against Douglas Lima, a former two-time Bellator champion, Lima caught MVP with a leg kick as MVP was blitzing in, causing MVP to hit the ground. As MVP was trying to stand up, Lima hit him with a massive uppercut knocking MVP out cold and awarding the victory to Lima. Venom's next five fights were of rather less significant caliber, and the argument could be made that Bellator was building MVP back up with some lesser fights to build up the hype for the rematch with Lima. In October 2021, MVP got the rematch securing the win via split decision. His next fight was for the Bellator interim title. However, MVP lost to Logan Storley. March 10th, 2023, MVP stepped in the bare knuckle boxing scene fighting the infamous Mike Platinum Perry. The fight ended up going to Perry, but only after the initial five rounds were classed, a draw and a sixth round was given to decide the winner. When it comes to MVP being signed to the UFC and how he will stack up in the division, I personally see him matching up very well against most of the top 15 contenders, such as the likes of Michael Chiesa, Kevin Holland, Neil Magny, Jack Della Maddalena, Vincente Luque, Jeff Neal, Stephen Thompson, Sean Brady, and Ian Machado Gary. However, when it comes to the top five in the welterweight division, such as Coldy Covington, Gilbert Burns, Shavkat Rachmanov, Bilal Muhammad, Kamaru Usman, and the champ Leon Edwards, I ultimately see him coming up short due to the wrestling caliber of the top five at welterweight, although they would be entertaining fights. Like and subscribe for more fighter profiles, background videos, and fight predictions on all your favorite fighters across all your favorite mixed martial arts promotions. Let me know down in the comments how the Think MVP will stack up in the UFC.